Hello everyone, I'd like to thank you for watching this video and uh, also welcome you to check out our blog at ephotographycourses.com. There will be a link below in the caption. Uh, today we're going to show you how to composite several light painted images. Now we're using Adobe Photoshop CS5. Uh, this is on a Mac. So let's get started. As you can see I have a uh, image here. This is a composite. This is the final image. It's all done right now. So how did I make this image? I have several different images that I've taken. These are all light painted. Alright, so now these are all selected. Uh, open Apple A will select all. Now when you do that, we're going to go to our background image here. Now what this background image is, is this is what we're going to be compiling all the layers onto. This gives you your background. The car itself is what's light painted. So we're going to focus on the background image right now since it is the base layer. So copy that, open Apple C. Bear with me, my computer is being a little slow today. Alright, we're going to paste that layer in, open Apple V. Yeah, so here is all our layers compiled. These are all the different pictures I've taken to combine into one exposure. And just like I had showed you before, we simply selected all, copied and pasted them all into one composite. Now this stuff down here is the final image, just ignore this, you can't see this right now. Um, it's not visible. So here's the next step. We're going to hit shift, select all, we're going to go up to the edit menu and we're going to auto align layers. Now sometimes when you're shooting stuff, uh, if you don't have a remote shutter or some source that you can remove, uh, you might bump your tripod or move the camera. Even if you move it in the slightest bit, these aren't going to be aligned correctly and it's not going to look right. So we're going to auto align in perspective. And this does take a little bit, so I'm going to stop back after I'm done with this. We have all our images that I have taken all copied onto our background image. Now we're going to go up to our image blend mode and we're going to hit lighten. And we're going to do this for all of the images here. Switch this one over. Alright, so now they're all lightened. Now the background copy we're going to leave as normal. So what we have here is our image. Uh, now it's at its basic step of the composite. Now you can see all these light streaks. This was all light painted. You want to try to avoid overlaying the image with these streaks however it's not always possible and I did this image when I was relatively new to light painting so I made this video basically to show you what I've learned since uh, this was done with a fluorescent bulb uh, you can do it with LED strips fluorescent bulbs you know it's a twenty or thirty dollar light uh, some are portable this one was actually plugged into the cigarette lighter right here now this gives you really high quality lighting for twenty or thirty dollars that's the beauty of it and also you can paint the car how you want you can put the highlights where you need to so let's get started here how are we gonna get all these light streaks out we're gonna go down here and make a mask now alright so let's take our brush here and we're gonna find out where exactly this layer is covering so we're just gonna brush out this right here and we're also gonna hit the ground here So when you have a, a mask, it's basically letting you erase a layer. The beauty of a mask is if you go to uh, the white pen, you can then repaint the layer. So control Z. So let's check it out here. Looks like we missed a little bit over here. And we'll take care of that. Now we're going to do this for all the layers. So we're going to go to our next layer. And real quick, we should see what this is covering. Oh, that's the interior. So that doesn't look like that looks good so we'll go to our next one and again let's see what it's covering so basically you do this for all your layers at the end you will have to touch this up sometimes layers overlay each other and you don't see them until after you're all done there we go alright so we're gonna back up here it looks pretty good alright so let's get back to uh, brushing our layers here uh, layer two let's make another mask once again so we're going to erase all this right here, take all that out. So let's see, do we get most of it? Looks pretty good. All right, and for our next layer here. All 
All right, so now we still have this over here um, as well as this, and it also looks like missed. Now all of this, uh, these streaks up here can be eliminated by just taking a brush and masking over them. Alright, so now we have our basic image. Let's find out where this little piece of extra lighting is coming from. Looks like it's that layer, so we're going to erase that there. And right there. So, now we have our basic image right here. Uh, the beauty of compositing an image this way is when these layers are all compiled basically they're showing the brightest exposure uh, in a picture so if you go up to adjustments you go to your exposure let's just bring up the front end here a little bit now we have to watch this because it is white so we have to watch how much we expose it all right we're gonna go with okay all right so we have our uh, main image here that we put together uh, as you can see there are some extra edges so what you want to do is merge all these layers together and uh, merge these together here so you have your final image to edit and we'll just crop out the borders real quick let's see here there we go alright so this is our main image as you can see there's some stuff that needs cloned out of it I cloned some of the stuff out I also evened out the exposure a little bit in my final image I also did a little dodging and burning but here's what your overall end image will look like after cloning it and dodging and burning it and uh, evening out the exposures where you want to so make sure you subscribe to our channel and check back and also check out the blog and uh, hey thank you for stopping by for our first video we plan on adding a lot more stuff to our blog